Hello, this is Matthew Minnick here with Voice of the Jungle. This is my week 14 recap. Yesterday, the Bengals lost to the Cowboys 30-7. to This puts us at 2-10-1 on the season and right in line to make the third overall pick in next year's draft. This one was really hard to watch in the first half. We had three costly fumbles. Um... First one by Giovanni Bernard, the second one by Travion Williams, and then the third one by Alex Erickson. So really the story of this one was we kind of killed our own momentum and killed our chances at winning the game with these turnovers. Uh, the first one with Giovanni Bernard was right on the opening drive of the game. It was actually his first fumble in over 800 touches. And while that's impressive, this happened at entirely the wrong time. Um, it set Andy Dalton and the Cowboys up for a great starting field position, or with great starting field position. It was right about our 30-yard line, more or less. Uh, fortunately for us, the defense was able to come out and uh, stymie the Dallas Cowboys offense. Uh, we were able to force Greg Zerline and the Cowboys into a 43-yard field goal attempt. So we kind of mitigated the damage a little bit, so to speak. Um, the second one was more of a gut punch. We had Brandon Allen driving the field, had us right outside the red zone. And then we handed the ball off to Travion Williams. We tried to take the ball inside, actually ended up running into one of his own offensive linemen, which jarred the ball loose. It ended up leading to Alden Smith from Dallas recovering the ball and running it back in for a touchdown. So absolutely killed any sort of momentum we had, put the Dallas Cowboys up 10 to nothing, and kind of put us into the quicksand, so to speak. Um, the third one, that insult into injury, Brandon Allen drives the field again. This time he even gets us into the red zone. And then in, on a designed run with Alex Erickson, right as soon as he crosses the line of scrimmage on the outside, uh, the first defender that makes contact with him jars the ball loose and Dallas recovers yet again. Um, so it was almost like a death of a thousand paper cuts. We just could not keep the ball in our hands. It was There was no sense of ball security by anybody other than Brandon Allen, which is incredibly ironic given the fact that he had at least one interception and one fumble in his past two starts. Um, so that being said, I want to say that the uh, one bright spot for us was actually Brandon Allen. Um, when watching him, I actually felt as if he kind of solidified himself as the backup quarterback over Ryan Finley. Um, as I've said before, he looked incredibly sharp in this one. He actually had over 200 yards passing, kind of spread, spread the ball out equally among his receivers. Uh, he connected with A.J. Green in a tight window for a touchdown. Um, he had six receptions with Green. He had five receptions with Boyd, five with Higgins. Probably honestly could have had seven with Higgins if he hadn't dropped the ball a couple of times. And then he also had three with Drew Sample. So he's kind of spreading the wealth a little bit. Um, he... He even like inspired me a little bit when he was still out there on the field and he ended up taking a hit late in the second half that had him limping, but somehow the man was still driving the ball and still converting. And unfortunately, uh, right when I thought we were about to come back, um, he handed the ball off to, I believe it was Samaje Pirine. Um, he went in for like a 14 or 15 yard run and it was a, called a touchdown, but then called back on a holding call against Quentin Spain. Um, so just to kind of add insult to injury, um, as if the fumbles weren't enough, we, we couldn't get that second touchdown and couldn't put ourselves within striking distance late in the game um, because of a costly penalty. So... With that being said, it was uh, kind of interesting to see Andy Dalton on another team. Um, it was different to see him kind of have a rapport with another wide receiver one, Amari Cooper. 
uh, who he connected with a touchdown early on in the game, actually his first touchdown. Um, threw the ball low, Amari went down to get it, kind of rolled over and then caught it at the front of the end zone. And then you also had one with Tony Pollard late in the game. It kind of reminded me of the way that Andy used to use Giovanni Bernard, almost kind of like his safety blanket. Um, it was kind of a short dump off, uh, check down option, if you will. And uh, Tony Pollard kind of took care of the rest and then ran it into the end zone for another score. Um, so all this being said, um, definitely a game where I wish, or I think some of the players wish they could have some of their touches back. And I definitely think it was very winnable, although the score doesn't reflect that. But here's to week 15. Um, hopefully we can uh, go out there and give it our best shot. Hopefully Brandon Allen's all right. Um, hopefully a week is enough time for him to rest up and go out there because if not, Ryan Finley is probably going to be pretty painful to watch if the fourth quarter was any indicator of what we will see next week. All right, guys. Best of luck in week 15. If not, let's get a higher draft pick.